guys welcome back to my channel i am coming with you so that we can get to the tangling with one of my favorite the apple and aloe nutrition after shampoo conditioner i'm about to show you guys how this works magic in my hair okay going from super tangly hair to super super conditioned and easy to comb hair this is how we're going to save our hair ladies gents if you're watching this is how we're going to save our hair this is how we're going to make sure that our shedding is only shedding and not breakage okay let's get started all right so i like to start from the back and just gently separate my hair what i like to do is i like to show how in the beginning i cannot get my fingers through right what we're going to do is a little goes a long way i have used this two times and we're still at the top here okay we're gonna get some out this is about how much i get out and we're going to rub that in and rub that through and as we rub it in we're going to just slide our fingers to the bottom the slip is what's important the slip and as you can see yeah <laughs> it's that good you guys is that good this part is so important your conditioning part is so important the type of conditioner for your hair is important because this is you conditioning your hair to do what you want it to do before you do your braid out or your twist out or your flat twist or your protective style or whatever Okay, so I have successfully detangled my hair, comb free, tool free, brush free, whatever the case may be. I'm going to rinse my hair out in these big jumbo pronto puff twists. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back to style my hair. In the comments, please leave me if, or leave me comments if this really works for your hair, especially if you're 4C. Like, y'all know how hard it is to detangle 4C hair. So if this product really worked for you, like if it really, helped your detangling process and conditioning process drop me some comments and let me know let miss lydia know because she would love to hear how much of a wonderment this product has been for your hair all right what's up y'all and we are back with nice and clean hair nice washed and detangled hair and now it's time to get this styling on the road i really love these i got them from amazon um they are pillow soft curlers so they come like this and in the middle there's like a feels like a foam roller um but they have the ends that get smaller so that you're able to tie the ends style my favorite styler which is the curl definer uh the reason i like this one is because it is so soft and moisturizing and penetrating and it actually doesn't have that oily feel i touch my hair a lot during the day especially when i wear my fro it doesn't give me that oily too much is in my hair feel so here we have as i said the apple and aloe nutrition curl definer which is my favorite styler from this line if you can look this is how much i've used i've used it about three times since i've got this jar and we're still at the top ladies and gents <laughs> so if you can look at the consistency it's very thick it's very solid it's not quite a butter it's like a it's a mixture between a butter and a cream i really want you guys to see like up close and personal very very thick okay and we're gonna focus on those ends ladies and gents focusing on those ends and really massaging it in so I'm really taking my hand I'm pinching I'm pinching pinching my hair strands brush all the way down to the end don't leave out y'all's baby hairs either okay <laughs> I like to start from the top of course and I like to get my braid, my scalp, as possible. This allows for that poofiness that you may be having at the top to be a little bit more relaxed. All right, so my hair is pretty, uh, not damp, it's not soaking wet, but it's still kind of wet. Um, I start from the end with the curl definer, and then I work my way up. All right, so I wanna make sure that this is really in there. 
So I do like the ribboning method when you just kind of swipe your hand down like that so that you can start seeing the definition in your hair. When you unbraid your hair, um, you still have that definition. Not just the, de the definition from the braid, but also from your actual curls. You want that to be really defined before you start braiding. That's the secret, y'all. That's the secret. All right, guys. So I'll see y'all on the return of the takedown. Peace. Finally, I am back. It has been two days later. <laughs> and I'm so excited to show you guys the outcome because I already know it's going to be popping. Guys, right, so I'm back and I wanted to show you guys because a lot of y'all asked me, what is, how do you go from this process to this process? You start from the bottom and you just tease. Tease like that. And that's what we're going to do to get that fluffed out, right? Like that. This is where you want to start doing your separation. So you just take it and you pull apart. Of course, you just keep playing around with it um, until it's at your desired fullness. Sometimes, even if you want it bigger, you can take a blow dryer and pull and hit your roots. Don't do this all the time. This is just every once in a while. You may want to, you know, give that extra oomph, um, but it's not a necessary thing that you need to do. Just focus on taking your time to fluff, and that's it. Yes, guys, this is the final look. I'm so excited to share this all with you guys because as y'all see, like the results, the proof is in the pudding. Bounce, definition, shine, sheen, volume, smells like a basket of apples. It's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments, subscribe, like, share with your homegirls who have 4C or who don't have 4C. This might be a good method for them as well. But, uh huh. All right, y'all. So I'm out. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for joining. And again, subscribe, comment, share, like, all that good stuff. Peace.